Good evening. This is Circe again with another Brat Time story. This one is called Gemütlichkeit. It's from a book I wrote with my father in 2020 called Poetry and Prose in a Pandemic, a father and daughter write out COVID-19. It's not on the market for publishing, but it was made into a book for our immediate family. So I hope you enjoy this essay on Gemütlichkeit. There are a few words from my childhood that make me feel cozy, even if the meaning isn't exactly meant to be cozy. Lunch is one of those words. The word lunch just makes me smile. One day I was taking Danny to doggy daycare and the daycare owner said to me, Does Danny want lunch today? I had to chuckle because I had never given Danny lunch before, but the concept was so charming I said, of course Danny wants lunch. Never mind lunch was just generic kibble, but my toddler was going to have lunch at daycare, by golly. Another word that brings me comfort is the word hygge. Just saying it is fun. Hygge? Hygge is what my mother used to do at our house. It's a Scandinavian word that means atmosphere, ambiance, coziness, which meant that every evening my mom pulled down the roulade, drew the curtains, turned on small lamps, creating soft glows in an otherwise dark cavernous house. Dinner was served by candlelight every night. We would come home from school, change out of our work and school clothes, put on something comfortable, and have a very quiet, cozy evening. There was no television to distract us at dinner, there was no radio, and we actually talked. We talked about school and work, what was important to us, and what was going on in the world. After dinner, I would sit in front of the television at exactly 7 o'clock to watch the German bedtime program Das Sandmännchen. After the 10 minute long story, I would go to bed. As I got older, I could read in bed for a while until lights out. The world was a safe place, guided by routine and predictability. That brings me to the concept of Gemütlichkeit, which according to Wikipedia is a German language word used to convey the idea of a state or feeling of warmth, friendliness, and good cheer. Other qualities encompassed by the term include coziness, peace of mind, and a sense of belonging and well-being springing from social acceptance. Gemütlichkeit is memories of the Chibo coffee shops, gast houses with their communal tables, beer garden instant friendships. It's the camaraderie of meeting fellow travelers on interrail trips or running into a long-lost friend at a busy airport and instantly reconnecting even after 10 years apart. I miss in-person Gemütlichkeit. COVID required social distancing forces us to meet via Zoom, teleconferences, or in Facebook chat rooms. It lacks a certain intimacy, a certain je ne sais quoi we experience face to face. In today's COVID politically divided, microaggressive world, we've lost everything that is Gemütlichkeit. And I miss it, but at least there's still lunch.